continuing to follow breaking news tonight. Exclusive video just into the newsroom shot by 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder. This is a local man leaving court after appearing before a judge for his alleged role in the Capitol riot. Joshua Dillon Haynes of Covington is the fourth person from Southwest Virginia to be arrested. Now, investigators say he is one of the men you see right here in this video of rioters attacking the media. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther joins us now in the newsroom. So, McKinley, what have you learned new since 5 o'clock? Lindsay, Joshua Dillon Haynes, as mentioned, is his name. He's from Covington, and tonight he faces six federal charges. Tonight, this is exclusive video 10 News captured as Haynes left federal court within the last hour. All of the images we are about to show you are public images, mostly taken from social media. The FBI believes Haynes is pictured here destroying media equipment. Investigators say these are pictures of him inside the Capitol crypt, which is beneath the well-known Capitol Rotunda. Court documents say the images from inside the building show him unmasked, which further helped investigators lead to a possible identification. Records show text message conversations mark him present for his attendance during the deadly riots, many through his own admission. Others evoked a braggadocious tone. When interviewed, he denied a lot of these accusations according to the court documents. Federal agents say his distinctive clothing was not found during a consensual search of his home. They also found text messages in his phone, which appeared to have been deleted, but were later recovered. Ultimately, Haynes says he believes no one went to Washington to cause trouble, but had to, quote, do something to protect the stolen election. I'm joined now by my colleague Annie Shorter, who I told you in our 5 o'clock hour was inside the federal courtroom this afternoon. Annie, I'm curious, after reading that criminal complaint, what was the tone? Did he have anything to say? And really, what did we, what did we learn moving forward? Well, McKinley, he didn't have anything to say, really, when he was leaving the courthouse. He appeared in person. Again, that hearing just wrapped up less than an hour ago. He was released on bond and appointed a court-appointed attorney. Now, we do know that he has a history of mental health issues, and he will undergo an evaluation before the rest of his hearings, which will take place in Washington, D.C., not here in the Western District. Now, he's also not allowed to leave our district between now and any of those hearings that are set to take place. He's also not allowed to attend any public gatherings because of the nature of the charges. Now, all again, again, all the hearings will be in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. The next one is set for July 8th. So many details pouring into our newsroom tonight. You can read up on that full complaint on our website. That's WSLS.com. For Andy Shorter, I'm McKinley Strother in our newsroom. 10 news working for you. This is a developing story. We are working for you to learn more. Please stay with us on air and online where we will continue to bring you the very latest on this story.